a joy to be flying tonight. Mm -hmm. A sheer delight. Visibility is just about perfect. When I was a boy, I didn't much care for romantic sunsets. And now I'm a cat, I still feel the same. You know, that color reminds me of a paint they use in the manufacture of the undercarriage of human perambulators. Don't you think it's romantic? Romantic? Ah, doesn't it make you think of the great love stories of the world? Romeo and Juliet, the cat and... Ah, <clears throat> uh, uh, yes, I'll be off then. Uh, uh, Billy, I've got to, uh, I've got things to see to. Yes. Oh, yeah, I remember. Things to see to. <laughs> How could I have forgotten? What? You don't have to go, too. Sorry. Mr. Hubert! Mr. Hubert! Wait for me! <sighs> well, Billy, what's it to be? A scratching session at the municipal flagpole? A gourmet dinner from Grossmeyer's garbage cans? A little visit to the pound, perhaps? I fancy a spot of dog baiting. It would be a nice change. I didn't care what we did. Queenie was really getting on my nerves. You see, the secret of dog baiting, Billy, is in the choice of the victim. The ideal subject should either be in chains or ensconced firmly in the pound. Oh, uh, what light from yonder kennel breaks? Max, you shouldn't be here. Tis the east and Millie is the sun. Go away. I'll see you in the park tomorrow. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. Creeps in this petty pace from day to day. What are you gibbering on about? Millie, I can't wait for tomorrow. I think of you constantly. Your wet nose, your long, flappy ears, your glossy coat. Max, I am a pedigree. You are a mongrel. This will never work. What's that confounded noise? If that mangy mongrel's out there again, I'll... I'll... Now, Kevin, remember your blood pressure. Don't get excited. Excited? I'm not excited! And don't shout. I'm not shouting! Ah, uh, Millie, this is... Hello. Is that the dog catcher? Your nose looks so shiny in this light. I want to... We can't. We mustn't. I want to rub my nose against yours. There, I said it, and I'm glad. But Max... Is it wrong to want to spend the rest of your dog's life with someone? To share a kennel? To have... puppies? <laughs> you, Max. That's it, isn't it? It's because I'm a mongrel. I thought so. Get away from there, you flea-ridden mutt. of all humans, the dog catcher. Up there! Whatever happens to me, Millie, I shall always love you! Ah, a touching scene, Billy. of true love never runs smoothly. <laughs> Come on, Billy. At the dog pound, you will see the dog as nature intended. Lock. Thank you. 
smell. Dogs have a very poor sense of hygiene, Billy. They don't lick themselves like we do. Oh, smells like a giant litter box down there. Can we go back another way? Yes, Billy, but not before we've had a bit of fun. You should think of this as a, a performance. If it is not done with feeling, it will not have the right effect. Hardly worth the effort. Are you all right? Now, this one's more like it. A Great Dane! The faint breeze should convey our presence to him in a matter of seconds. <laughs> Quite so. We've got him now. Go on. Go on what? A gesture, a sign to convey contempt and mockery of an inferior species. But he's just a dog. Please, permit me to demonstrate. Hey, dog! Your mother chases ambulances! <laughs> she thinks they're ice cream trucks! <laughs> Why, you? Wait till I get my hands on you, you foul-mouthed feline! When they're totally crazed and mad with rage, we proceed to the next one. Uh, try it! Your mother chases ambulances. Really? Yeah, she thinks they're ice cream trucks. Go ahead, Mark. I don't care. You don't? I've lost the will to live. Mr. Hubert, this isn't gonna work. Haven't we met somewhere before? Ah, yes, the thwarted lover. Alas, yes. Without Millie, I don't care about anything anymore. I take it Millie is the poodle at the window? Does she know you're here? It wouldn't make any difference. Her owner hates me. She's pedigree and I'm mongrel. Sometimes I go to her place at night just to sit outside her window, just to be close to her. Don't worry, we'll get you out of here. I promise. <gasps> would be in the pound or suspended in cages by the roadside for public ridicule. Well, I'm not a cat, Mr. Hubert. I'm a boy, and I said I'd spring Max. Now, if I remember correctly, it was just about here. Max! Max! Come on, Mr. Hubert. Oh, this is really very foolish, Billy. You'll regret it. Let's go. So, my mother chases ambulances, does she? Come on, Billy. Run for it. <laughs> didn't I, didn't I say this was foolish? Didn't I say you'd regret it? Yes, Mr. Hubert. <laughs> Two little wise guys, eh? Think it's kind of funny to make cracks at dogs when they can't fight back. Well, uh, you have to admit it. What's rather amusing? <laughs> amusing? Yeah, well, this is where I get some amusement as I tear you to shreds. But first... <laughs> Your mother stinks like garlic. Well, actually, she uh, smells of fish. You see, she's a sardine fisher in the Persian port of Preston. <laughs> hey, what is this? 
What are you doing? I'm repaying a debt. A debt? To a cat? I'll give you two choices, cat lover. Either you stand back while I massacre these two kitties, or I'll massacre the three of you. Those cats find us from jail. You should be grateful. <laughs> Why the cruel... No, no, Billy. This is dog business. But he's trying to help us. <laughs> you got it coming, bozo. <laughs> Might as well. Hey. Take that, you oh. scoundrel. You're welcome. One good turn deserves another. Guess we better go look for Millie. Oh, I don't believe this. A cat and a dog openly fraternizing. Oh, Billy, you're a disgrace to your race. Millie! Millie! Millie? Where are you? Kevin, she's gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? I mean, she's not here. Oh, she was fine until that dog started hanging around. You saw the way he behaved, like, like, like some, some animal. What's that door doing open? I'll kill that mongrel. I'll skin it alive. I'll tear it limb from limb. Why, I'll... Kevin, what is it? Understand. I'm looking for a friend of mine who's uh, staying there at the moment. Oh, yeah? Anyone I know? His name is Max. Oh, he's wonderful. Kind, generous, brave, courageous, selfless, heroic. Why, he can do handstands and touch his nose with his tongue. Sorry, lady, but uh, I've got bad news for you. You see, he tried to break out through the sewers. He fell in. I, I tried to rescue him, but he just got swept away. You mean he's... Yep. The last thing he did before he sank to the bottom was to whisper your name. Really? Yeah, sir. Bonnie... Uh, uh, Trixie... Uh... Millie? Uh, that that's it. Millie. Millie. Look, I can tell you're all upset. Come with me. We'll look after you. We're a good bunch, all thoroughbreds like yourself. Yeah! Get out of here, flea bags! Ooh! And don't come back! Ouch! Ooh. That was a close one. Oh, the indignity of it. I don't understand it. Where's Millie? Don't worry, we'll find her. You may, if you like, but you can count me out. Mr. Hubert! I have never been so humiliated in my life. You may continue to consort with dogs if you must, but I have had enough. Look, you've done what you can. I quite understand it if... I said I'd find Millie for you, and I will. All we've got to do is find Jumbo. She's divine, simply perfect! At least she's a pedigree. 
Millie's had a rough time. I said we'd look after her for a while. Of course. Welcome to the gang, Millie. Hey! Uh-oh, don't, don't mind him. It's nothing personal. It's, it's like, uh, an initiation. I am sorry. It's just that nobody sniffed me since Max! <laughs> well, there, there. You're going to be all right. You're with friends now. Yes, you're with your own kind now, and we thoroughbreds look after each other. I just don't get it. You want me to find a poodle? Yeah, it's kind of a favor. It's a love story, Jumbo. <laughs> now I've heard everything. You're in love with a poodle? Not me. Him. But he's a dog. So? Well, it may not be natural. I mean, it's not even logical. You'll do it? It's crazy. It's absurd. It's nonsensical. But who am I to question the ways of the world? I'm just a pigeon. I am proud to welcome today a new member of our elite and exclusive society. Welcome. Oh, nice to have you here. Oh, yes. Very nice to have you here. Silence. <laughs> But first, repeat after me the Oath of Allegiance. The what? It, it's nothing, just a, a few things you have to promise if you're going to join the gang. Repeat after me, I solemnly swear... I solemnly swear... To be the scourge and affliction of all cats... What does that mean? It means if you see a cat, you have to try to bite its head off. Oh. To be the scrounge and affection of all cats. To strive for the extinction of all mongrels. Does that mean what I think it means? Come now, you don't mean to say you object to attacking mongrels. Yes, I do. My best friend was a mongrel. Oh, what? Is you refuse to take the oath? Yes. Hey, Millie, I know you're upset, but... Hmm, that could be her. Oh, and she looks as if she's in trouble. Better tell Billy. And where do you think you're going? I don't want to join your gang. I want to go home. Come on, Millie. You're a thoroughbred. Forget about your friend. He's dead. This is your home. Yes, that's right. Yes, I guess you're right. You can't just go barging in there. These things have to be planned. You don't understand. They've got Millie. I have to get her back. She doth teach the torches to burn right. Okay, okay, I get the picture. If you don't want to come, you don't have to. I don't expect a simple cat to understand. Cat? There it is! I don't like it. It's too quiet. No, Max! Millie! Millie! Max? Well, if it isn't lover boy. Max! They told me you were dead! Don't worry. He soon will be. Max! Let's get out of here! I'm not going without you, Millie. Even if I have to die! Well, Millie's not going with you. She's one of us now, sworn to kill all cats and mongrels. Is this true? They made me. I thought you were dead. Look, we haven't got the time for this now. We've got to get out of here. Hey, you're right. Come on. <sighs> Go! 
I've been chased before. When I was a boy, I always managed to find a way to escape. And I knew the best way to unload a truck. So long, suckers! <laughs> she thinks they're ice cream trucks. <laughs> oh dear, is that what passes for wit in the cat kingdom? Guess I'm just not doing it right. Ah, oh, Millie, this is paradise. You, me, a sunset, beautiful surroundings. What more could a dog ask for? <sighs> it's too, too perfect. And to think we owe it all to cats. Yuck. No bad thoughts. No, princess. This is our night. A night for love. Oh, say it again, Max. Never stop, ever. Oh, please. Oh, it's so romantic. It's just like those stories you hear. Romeo and Juliet, the thoroughbred and the mongrel, the cat and the... <coughs> well, uh, I'll be off then. Uh, Billy, I've got to, uh, uh, things to see to, yes. Oh, yeah, I remember. Things to see to. <laughs> How could I have forgotten? Mr. Hubert, Mr. Hubert, wait for me. Wait for me. Well, Billy, what's it to be? A scratching session on the municipal flagpole? A gourmet dinner from Grossmeyer's garbage cans? A little visit to the pound? No, no, not the pound, Billy. Anywhere but not the pound. And please don't even mention the word D-O-G. <laughs> you must remember, Billy. <laughs> 